Hey guys, Joe Kulas here once again for K Tactical. Today we're going to be taking a look at the GGNG EOTEX lens cover slash uh, kind of sun lens whatnot. Now let's start off with this. It is a good product in general. It is not perfect, but it is good for some. There is many disadvantages to it as many advantages. Let's start out just talking about how it works and operates so you can fully understand how it works because when you get it you are going to have some questions and with that is when you pop it open you're going to notice the back one goes flat and the top one rises high now again you will be caught off guard off that if I kind of uh, uh, close it here some and I apply pressures to the side left and right here you'll notice well kind of let it fly there you will notice, well, now it's not going to work so well for me. It is much more flat, and it kind of gives that sun deflection a little bit. I let go, slowly starts to come up. That's because out of it is mounted. Now with that, when you, I say that mounted, you simply take off the two end screws each side, slide the protector out. This kind of slides in and out. With You can see the back and front line up to the back and the front of that. So it's pretty much a one-to-one -one fit. It's a little bit tighter though. So that pressure of this being stuck in there makes it so this works as the sunshade, as you've seen in your display picture. Now, as with that, you're going to also ask, well, how does it close? How does it stay shut? That is part of, again, how it's manufactured. You kind of see these uh, little grooves in there. That matches with the grooves on top. So it's pretty, <coughs> closing it here, it's a pretty self-explanatory how it works. Now, since you understand how it works, oh and as well, obviously it is spring operated. Spring goes in there, comes out the other side, and it has a roll pin. So it's obviously spring operated. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, I have a little bit of flu here. Now, how it works is pretty good. Price-wise, these are actually kind of expensive. And obviously, I will say this, as a dust cover, as keeping crap out of there, if you're going to go to the desert, some craziness, okay, sure, why not? Not a terrible accessory to have. Or if you live somewhere, there's a just really dusty, windy, whatever, okay, sure. But any aspect of using it as a sunshade is kind of, eh, it doesn't really help unless it's directly above you, and even then, it, does, it just doesn't really keep a lot of that reflection, you know, out, in my opinion. Uh, it did not really help me out that much at all. I went early in the day, later in the day to the range, midday, just did not seem to help a heck of a lot. Now, as well, here's where the product, in my opinion, becomes sort of useless. And I'm probably going to get some batter from some people on this, but as you're going to notice, this front one is different than the back. There is a reason for that. And again, going to feel kind of stupid here, but I was just messing with my gun at my friend's house, and it was unloaded. You know, we're just, you know, admiring them, if you want to say that. And I think it was uh, actually I was showing them this thing. And uh, the gun ended up dropping. You know, just I think it was uh, it was uh, leaning against it or something. It was just sitting there and it dropped. And obviously, you know, these were out and whatnot, and they just kind of plopped on the floor. The <coughs> back busted off, and it wasn't even the thing cracked. It just right here, these parts, the left and to the right of rubber, where this is a hard plastic in the middle, they just ripped right off. And as you can see, it's really not that much keeping them on there. So, again, part of how it's manufactured, they can't have hard rubber for that because of how it's manufactured. It has to be kind of softer. And I think this is kind of a manufacture, manufacture flaw, in my opinion. Now, as you're going to notice in the front, that is not the issue. Just because, again, how it is set up. Back front back front so the back was obviously an issue I called them they said oh it shouldn't have broke that's weird 
So, this sent me a new one. Same thing happened again. And they sent me another new one. Now, when I say that, I had to send it in. They replaced it. Uh, actually, honestly, I had the original one dura-coated to fit this AR. And I had some black left, and I didn't have the other colors left. So I ended up dura-coating the front black. <laughs> and what that allowed me to do, you know, is kind of keep it mediocrely looking. I mean, it doesn't really look too terribly off, but... So, in my opinion, this product, if... In a way, it's not bad, but honestly, it's more of a kind of a cool look than anything. It's not the best for being a dust protector and whatnot, you know, and keeping dust out. It's not terrible, but the durability is definitely just not 100% there. Now, as well, there's one other thing I feel that I should mention with this. <coughs> as you can, can imagine, if it's in between... <coughs> As you can notice, you have those sidebars where you can kind of see in between the sight and the uh, protection plate. And same thing with the AK here. Well, I can't get the best picture of it. That obviously fills it up. And, oh, sorry, my voice is just killing me here. But with filling that up, it actually makes the EOTech a little bit different to use. So I just want you guys to realize that right off the back. And that kind of caught me at first, because, uh... Let me take a swig of water here, guys. Yeah, it kind of caught me at first, because I was just like, why is this kind of different? And, uh, I don't know why, but with that sight radius there, I think with the kind of the, uh, in-between space, it wasn't that big of a deal, you know what I mean? You don't feel like you're that much cut off. Uh, of the sides but when you put that stuff in there it just made a much greater even though again it's free you know you have like a very wide view of range it just kind of made it more of like I was looking through a scope if that kind of makes sense so kind of a weird thing to add there it just adds just some in-between room which makes it a little bit different to use so besides that uh, I honestly I don't think I'm gonna be buying this ever again, I'm actually going to be giving this to a friend because he likes them. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty cool product, but I'm going to be giving it to him as a Christmas present here. It's actually a late Christmas present. <laughs> and I just figured I'd shoot this video out there for you guys before I did that. So, thanks for watching. Feel free to sub. Take care. If you want to see any of the stuff on these rifles, feel free to check out my channel. I have a lot of it done, uh, review-wise. So, thanks once again for watching, take care and feel free to sub.